You would have probably heard that marketing is very important for any business. But do you know how much Apple or Samsung spend on their marketing? In the year 2016 alone, Samsung spent $10.2 billion on marketing. That when converted to Indian rupees gives 7617303900. Yeah, that's a whooping 76,000 crores. But that's only for one year. On the next year, I mean in 2017, they have increased it to $11.2 billion, which makes 83,000 crores. Not only Samsung, Apple also spends 20 to 30,000 crores just on marketing each and every year. And these are such huge numbers every company cannot afford to do. And that's where Chinese companies come into picture. Most of these Chinese brands like Xiaomi, Realme, Honor or even OnePlus don't invest such huge amount of money in terms of marketing. These companies choose the other way around. YouTube advertising, their YouTube official channels, smartphone reviewers, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Flipkart or Amazon. You remember the front banner that is shown every time whenever a new Xiaomi or a Realme phones launched? Companies don't pay for that, but still it's a promotion for them as well. And also all these promotions mostly happen online and companies don't spend any money for these things. Now the next big thing is flash sales. Flash sales are the best way to promote a brand or a product. They will make it to headlines of every technology website that Redmi Note 9 Pro Max flash sales stock lasted just minutes. There are two potential benefits of doing this. Companies get free marketing and people rush to buy their smartphone thinking that others are also rushing to buy their smartphone. And the second one is companies don't have to maintain inventory. If you don't have idea about inventory, inventory is a place where all the bulk stocks are kept which is then shipped. But companies like Xiaomi and Realme, they don't maintain bulk stocks at all. They produce 50,000 or 1 lakh pieces. Once all these pieces are sold, they again manufacture them. So this is a great way to cut down on the investment before even making some profits. Coming to making profits out of smartphones, some companies, in particular Xiaomi, make a profit of 5% from its smartphone sales, sometimes even 0%. But why is that? At the end of the day, it's also a business and business needs profits to run, right? Xiaomi started out as an internet company. They provide services like music, app store, etc. for which they charge, just like Apple charges for their premium subscriptions. Even though their subscriptions come out around 10% of the total business, still they make most profit out of only those subscriptions. And the reason is quite simple. Xiaomi wants to reach a lot of people and the only way by which they can reach that is by cutting down the cost, which in turn impacts the profits. And the simple way of saying this is make less profits, but with huge sales. Not only Xiaomi, but most of the Chinese brands follow this funda. Now, let's talk about ads. This is something that does not get a lot of attention that it actually deserves. Yes, having ads in the interface is the best way to generate revenue. Assume it this way, there are three smartphones for which Samsung has priced 25,000 INR which makes a total of 75,000 INR that the company is going to get out of those smartphones. But on the other hand, Xiaomi took the same exact phones and priced 12,000 each which makes only 36,000 INR. But Xiaomi serves ads. So in the above scenario, money earned by Samsung will end after making those 75,000 rupees. But Xiaomi on the other hand starts earning from the day the person starts using the mobile. And Xiaomi has the biggest benefit through this. That is, since these mobiles are cheap, more number of people are going to buy it. The more phones people buy, the more ads play. The more ads play, the higher the ad revenue generate. 
This could also affect Xiaomi negatively. If the users get irritated with all those ads, people tend to move away from Xiaomi, which should impact their sales. Right now, it's not happening to that extent, but if it happens, Xiaomi has to check for another way to generate revenue. And now, let's talk about one more interesting thing that is RAM. You would probably know this. Most of the Chinese brands or most of the brands like Apple, Samsung, Xiaomi, Realme, Redmi, any brand, they buy some components from third party vendors like the display, the RAM, the processor, etc. Right. So now let's take an example of RAM. These third party vendors do a lot of checks on RAM chips. Let's say 1000 checks. So they separate these RAMs based on the failure rate. Set 1 contains the chips that failed 5 out of 1000 checks. These are great quality. Set 2 contains which failed 50 out of 1000 checks and these are of mediocre quality. And set 3 contains chips which failed 150 out of 1000 scenarios and these are of the least quality. Company prices the set 1 costlier compared to set 2 and set 2 costlier compared to set 3. Now Apple buys the set 1. Samsung, Moto or Sony buys the set 2 and Xiaomi or Realme they buys the set 3. All these things have similar specs but the issue is the RAM chips taken by Xiaomi failed in lot of performance checks so there is a chance that these could impact the performance. We cannot say it directly but there is a bigger chance that they could impact the performance. Now let's talk about research and development. Yes, Chinese brands don't put a lot of money on research and development but instead they put that money in reducing the prices of existing smartphones which is not a bad idea. And right now to say truly even Chinese companies are innovating a lot. There is the Mi Mix Alpha and there are so many other devices which have some innovation but compared to companies like Apple and Samsung who have separate teams to do this the investment done by Chinese companies is a lot less. So people that's all about this video. If you guys like this video please hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe the channel.